There's a story about you acquiring this building that you found it just before Lehman collapsed in 2008 and that you were able to get the property for vast discount. Was that the turning point in your career? Right. It's interesting because what seems like a vast discount in hindsight doesn't seem like a vast discount at the time. I mean, this was a widely marketed deal. Um, Verizon ran a, a big process through Newmark Knight Frank to sell the asset, and frankly, we were the highest bidder at that time for the asset. It was a very uncertain time in the market. So, yes, I think it certainly was a turning point, and um, I feel really fortunate that we were able to be in the right place at the right time and execute on that plan. Now, you're readying another tower that's similar or has been described as being similar to this tower, and that's Stella Tower, and that's uptown from here on 50th Street. Tell me, is that building finished, and will it be as successful as Walker Tower has been? So that building uh, is nearing completion. We're um, putting the finishing touches on it, so we have a few more months of construction there. It's um, really a meticulous restoration of the existing cast stonework and repointing the entire masonry facade the replacement of all the existing ornament that was stripped away and lost over the years. Um, but the scope of, of some of the complexities aren't quite as involved as this job was. We might be over 70% sold at this point, and we're going to deliver that building this year in a market where most people selling product today are promising deliveries in maybe two years or a year and a half or three years. We have a product that you can walk through now. Just a few years ago, I think people never even heard of Michael Stern. and Where did Michael Stern come from? How did he rise so quickly? No, well, first of all, I think the perception of the rising so quickly is not quite accurate because the reality is I started um, right out of high school. I was you know, 20 years old, basically coming right out of high school, which is now 15 years ago. And um, so it's really been a 15-year process, which um, you know, it was probably longer than people realize. Did you know you wanted to go into building in, in high school? You know, frankly, I didn't, I didn't have the opportunity to go to college. Maybe if I had the, under the right circumstances, that would have been my preference. You know, my path then was through the construction side. I learned construction first. And I like that there really isn't one predetermined path that says this is how you become a developer. You can sort of come at it from different angles.